I'm asking this question on behalf of my very close friend. He's a non-Muslim. He don't want to disclose his name, but he's an engineer by profession. He wants to know Quran does not contradict with modern science, but it says Adam salam was the first man on the face of the earth. But this goes against the theory of Charles Darwin regarding evolution. But as the question, he says Quran matches the science, but does not agree with the statement of the Quran that Adam is the first human being. It goes against the theory of Charles Darwin, and I agree with you. The Quran does not agree with the theory of Charles Darwin because Charles Darwin is the theory. Quran is a book of fact, not a book of theory. And if you read the book of Charles Darwin, if you read the book of Charles Darwin, The Origin of Species, it says that Charles Darwin went on the ship by the name of HMS Beagle, which went on an island by the name of Calatropis. And he saw birds pecking in holes and niches. Depending upon the niches the bird pecked, the beak became small and long. Based on this observation, he propounded his theory of natural selection. But he wrote a letter to his friend Thomas Thompson saying that I have got no 100% proof regarding my theory, but because it helps me in embryology, in rudimentary organs, etc., he has propounded that. Otherwise, Charles Darwin himself agreed that they were missing links. That's the reason in school, if we had to insult someone, we used to say that if you were present during Charles Darwin's time, then his theory would have been proved right. Insinuating he looks like an ape. So this is just a theory. It is not a fact at all. I have not come across a single book which is called as the fact of evolution. All of these are theories of evolution. And furthermore, according to P.P. Grasse, he says, it is letting our imagination run too wild, just based on few vestiges that we are assuming that we have been evolved from apes. Today, science has found four waves. First is Australopithecus from the Ice Age, then Cro-Magnon, Neanderthal man. All these, what science has found, there is no link between them. And there is no proof that we have been evolved from apes. And according to Hansis Craig, who is an expert in molecular biology, he says it is absurd, just based on DNA, to assume that our forefathers were apes. It is just an assumption. There are hundreds of scientists who have written against Darwin's theory. Darwin's theory has been proved false long ago. Now something has come on the internet recently, okay, Darwin's theory. These are just hypotheses. But certain things of Darwin, that life has been evolved from water, no problem. Quran says that in Surah Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 30. So certain things are correct. But as a whole, that human beings have been derived from ape, it's unscientific, it's a theory, and that's not a fact. Hope that answers the question.